Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're diving King of the Hill, a Solana meme coin sniper bot that automatically snipes new pump.fun tokens that are crowned King of the Hill on PumpFun. Basically on pump.fun, King of the Hill refers to a feature where tokens compete to reach a $30,000 market cap to become the top ranked token on the platform. This bot is fully automated, which means you can set take profit, stop loss, and make it fully automated while running it on any virtual server. Sounds cool, right? We'll walk through how the bot works, how you can set it up, and we'll take a tour through each file in the code base. But don't worry, I'm not going to read you code line by line, because that's a sure way to put everyone to sleep. Instead, I'll give you an overview of each file's purpose. I want to start by running the bot so you can see everything in action. Let's start. We're getting super close to 1,000 subscribers, and I just want to take a moment to say thank you from the bottom of my heart. Seriously, it means the world to me that so many of you are supporting the channel and enjoying the content. To celebrate this huge milestone, I've got something really special planned for the next giveaway. This time, I'll be picking five lucky subscribers to win $100 each. Yep, you heard that right. $100 each. And just to be clear, this isn't one of those fake giveaways. If you've been around for a while, you already know I've given $100 to three subscribers in the past. And I'm just getting started. Now, if you want to be part of this next giveaway, here's what you need to do. First, watch this entire video. Don't skip around, just let it play through. Then, make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and drop a comment with your Solana wallet address. I'm really excited to give back to you guys, and I can't wait to see who the lucky winners are going to be. Thanks again for all the love and support. Let's hit that 1K together. Let's talk about the big picture. This bot is designed to watch Pump Fun, which is a platform where new meme coins and tokens appear on Solana. One coin is always the king of the hill, which means it's currently in the spotlight. Our bot will keep checking to see if a new coin takes that crown. When it does, the bot will perform a rigorous rug check as per our settings in Confit file. If the rug check is passed, the bot will immediately snipe the coin. If failed, then it will go back and look for a new King of the Hill tokens again. Once the bot has bought in, it tracks the coin's price and logs our profit and loss every five seconds. If the coin shoots up and hits our take profit target, the bot sells to lock in the gains. If the coin starts dumping and crosses our stop loss threshold, the bot sells to avoid going down too far. That's the entire gist. It's basically a watch, buy and sell automation bot. You do not need to manually place buy or sell orders. The bot does everything. Now we'll dive into the three most important pieces you'll actually care about. The .env file, rug check file, and config file. Let's start with the .env file. This is where you'll drop in your private key so the bot can sign transactions for you. You'll also put in your Morales API key here so the bot can query token prices in real time. Next. There are endpoints related to pump.fun and deck screener. These are used to find the newest King of the Hill token and does a little extra research on it, like seeing if the deck screener orders are approved. You do not need to change anything here. There's also a Solana RPC URL, which points the bot to a node it can use to submit transactions. So I repeat, you need to put private key Morales API key and Helios RPC URL. Do not worry, I will show you how to obtain those in the later part of this video. The .env file is critical because none of this can work without the correct addresses and keys. Be absolutely sure to keep this file secret. Never commit it to a public repository because it literally contains your private key. Then we have config file, which is like your control center. If you peek inside, You'll see it references a lot of those environment variables from .env, but it also has a settings object where you can tweak the bot's behavior. For instance, polling speed is how often it checks for a new coin, and AutoBuy decides whether the bot buys a new coin the moment it sees one. 
you'll also find your sniper parameters like amount to buy sol, which is how much Solana you want to risk on each new coin, and take profit percentage plus stop loss percentage, which define when the bot sells automatically. Then, at the end, there's a section for rug check toggles, things like check creator history or check social presence. These toggles activate or deactivate corresponding checks in our next file, rug check file. Finally, let's get really detailed about rug check file. This file is your safeguard. It's what decides whether a new token is too risky to even bother buying. Think of it like a bouncer at a club, checking IDs and deciding if somebody is trouble. The way it works is that rug check file has a function named apply rug check, which inspects all these different aspects of the coin. For example, it might look at how many tokens the creator has launched in the past. If the same person keeps churning out tokens, that can be a sign of something suspicious. It might also examine whether the coin has enough social media presence, like a Twitter and a Telegram, because having zero channels sometimes means it's a throwaway rug project. It checks the bonding curve fill to see if people have actually bought enough of the supply or if the coin is still mostly empty. It might even look at whether the coin has paid its DEX fees to get listed on DEX screener or how many top holders might control a large portion of the supply. Because sometimes a small handful of wallets controlling too many tokens is a big red flag. Each of these checks corresponds to a setting and config file. If check creator history is true, it sets a threshold for how many tokens a single creator can have launched before it's deemed suspicious. If check market cap is true, it might reject the coin if the market cap is below a certain level. If any check fails, rug check file returns a short message like, creator has launched more than five tokens, which tells the rest of the bot that it should skip buying this coin. If all the checks pass, the function returns null, meaning the bot can go ahead and proceed with the buy. In short, rug check file is the bodyguard that helps you filter out obvious scams. Now that we have gone through the bot in detail, let's talk about how to get the bot and run it in your system. All right, guys, here's what you need to do. Head over to my Telegram channel. The link is right below in the description of this video. Once you're in, check the pinned message. That's where you'll find all the info about the Pump Fund Sniper Bot. Now pay attention here. If you're interested, just send me a direct message. My username is clearly mentioned in that pinned post, so make sure you're messaging the right person. And seriously, please be careful. There are scammers out there literally copying my whole channel, pretending to be me, and trying to get people to send them money. They even make fake usernames and clone group links. So always double check the links you're clicking on and confirm the username before sending any messages or doing anything else. Once you click on my username, just send a message like, hey, I need the king of the hill bot, and I will share the file. So once you've downloaded the project, you need Visual Studio Code to open the code base. First step is going to be you'll need to install dependencies by running something like npm install. This will install required dependencies of this bot. In simpler terms, the bot will be able to run smoothly once you run the command. Then, edit your .env file to include your own private key in base58 form, your Morales API key, and a valid Solana RPC URL. Let's see how to get Morales API key first. Head over to Google and search Morales for developers. Click on the first link. And click on Start for Free at the top right. Create an account using Google. Just click here. Once your account has been created, you will see a dashboard like this. Your API key is here. Copy it. Now head back to Visual Studio Code and paste it. Now for RPC URL, you need to create an account on Helios. Google Helios development and click on the first link. I will also provide links for Morales and Helios in my description of this video. Similarly, create a free account. 
Once your account has been created, you will be seeing a dashboard like this. Click on Endpoint and copy the RPC URL and paste it in your code. For private key, I am hoping that you all are aware on how to get your Phantom Wallet private key. If you don't, just let me know on Telegram. I will help you get that. All right, now that we have all things set up correctly, let's look at the rug check settings. Check your config.ts to see if you're comfortable with the default sniper settings. For instance, do you want to spend 0.01 sol on each new coin? Or do you want to dial that down to 0.001 sol for testing? Change your take profit and stop loss based on your risk appetite. Now this is the most important part for scanning for any tokens. I will go through one example, just for explaining how this works. REST, I hope you guys are smart enough to understand how everything works. So if I set check market cap to true here, this basically means I am telling the bot to check if the token has a minimum of $25,000 market cap. If not, then skip this token. Now if you want to change this number from 25,000 to say 30,000, you need to come to rug check file and change this to 30. Make sure to save the file by pressing Control S. Now our bot will buy only those tokens whose market cap is greater than $30,000. Similarly, you can play around with these thresholds here in rug check file, and if you want the rug check to work, then in config file, change all this to true. If it is set to true, it means that particular rug check is in place. If it is false, it means that rug check will not take place. I hope I was very clear in explaining how it works. Once you're happy with everything, run the bot using npm run start command. Let me do that. If all goes well, you'll see some console logs letting you know that the bot is checking for new tokens. That's basically the entire setup. We saw how the bot flows from scanning pump.fun to deciding whether a coin is legit, actually executing the trade, and then managing your PNL until you exit. Everything is modular enough that you can tweak the config, the rug check thresholds, and the environment variables to suit your own risk level. Just remember that meme coins can be insanely volatile. Sometimes they rocket to crazy multiples, and sometimes they crash as soon as they appear. This sniper bot is meant to help you automate your entries and exits, but of course nothing is ever guaranteed in crypto. Please be careful, do your own research, and only put in what you're comfortable losing. If you enjoyed this walkthrough and found it helpful, drop a comment to let me know, and consider subscribing if you want more adventures in the wild world of crypto tooling. Good luck out there, stay safe, and I hope you land some awesome trades. Until next time, take care, and I'll catch you in the next video.